Now you'll see how the members of the band P.O.G. have changed. You'll get to know their ages and life stories in brief. I'll show you how all the musicians of this Christian metal band looked in their youth and early career, and how they look now in 2024. Enjoy watching! Marcus Curiel started his musical journey when he and his friend Wu Bernardo organized jam sessions at the age of 17. The guys called themselves Escatos and performed at parties with covers of popular thrash metal songs. When Sonny Sandoval joined them, the name changed to Payable on Death, or P.O.D. In 1994, they released their first album, Snuff the Punk, which became one of the earliest new metal releases. Two years later, their second studio effort, Brown, was recorded. These two albums didn't become big hits, but in them you can hear the formation of P.O.D.'s signature sound. In 1999, the musicians signed a contract with Atlantic Records and presented the release The Fundamental Elements of South Town. The album hit the Billboard 200 charts at number 51 and became the first big success in Ben's history. The singles South Town and Rock the Party of the Hook became hits on radio stations. Rolling Stone magazine named P.O.T. to its People of the Year list. Due to uncertain disagreements, Marcus was fired from the band in 2003. After that, he started working on his project The Accident Experiment, releasing the EP Arena and the album United We Fear. In 2006, Curiel resolved all disputes and grudges with the members of P.O.T. and became part of the band again. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out new videos about how rock stars changed. Let's keep going! Noah Bernardo, also known as Wolf, has been playing drums for as long as he can remember. His father was also a talented drummer, and it was on his independent label that then the unknown band P.O.D. released their debut album Snuff the Punk. Wolf was the cousin of the band's frontman Sonny Sandoval. After the success of the third album, P.O.D. releases a fourth album titled Satellite. It sold 133,000 copies in its first week and hit number 6 in the Billboard 200 charts. The single Alive received its first Grammy nomination and its music video became one of the most popular on MTV. Youth of the Nation was written under the influence of the Santana and Columbine school shootings. The song received their second Grammy nomination and is still P.O.D.'s most popular song. For the single Portrait, the band was nominated for the Best Metal Performance at the Grammys for the third time. The bright head Boom became the band's calling card. Satellite was included in the list of 200 best albums of the decade. During this period, P.O.T. became one of the biggest success stories in Christian music. Love became famous for its energetic percussion parts, which can be heard on all of the band's albums. Jason Truby's musical history begins at the age of 17, when he joined the band Living Sacrifice. In 1991, they released their debut album of the same name. However, the band became most famous after premiering their fourth studio recording in 97, Reborn, which became their most influential work. In 2003, Truby helped P.O.G. write and record the single Slipping Awake for the soundtrack to the movie The Matrix Reloaded, after which he became a member of the band. That same year, they released their fifth album Payable on Death, which saw the band shift to a darker and more melodic metal sound. The release was banned in many Christian bookstores due to the occult cover artwork. Despite this, the album became one of the top three best-selling releases of P.O.D. Jason also participated in the recording of the EP Warriors 2 and their sixth album Testify. At the end of 2006, he left the band to focus on solo work. The older Mark Daniels got, the stronger his love for creation became. Trey joined P.O.D. at the age of 23, where he left his mark on the Christian new metal genre with his best skills. In 2006, the band released their sixth album Testify. The first single Goodbye For Now, featuring Katy Perry, became a big hit. The music video for this song took the first place in the MTV show Tower Request Live, and the track itself was actively played on radio stations. Testify became the number one selling Christian album on Billboard for several weeks. After returning to P.O.G. Marcus Curiel, the band recorded their seventh studio effort When Angels and Serpents Dance, which reached the top 10 on the Billboard chart. In 2012, the follow-up to this album, Murdered Love, was released, which received good reviews from critics who noted that this work is proof of why the band continues to exist and evolve over the years. Paul Joshua Sandoval, known as Sonny, spent his childhood in South San Diego. During those years, young Sonny was a member of a local criminal gang and succumbed to the temptation of alcohol and pot use. 
At the age of 19, Paul's mother passed away from leukemia, which sparked a spiritual awakening in his heart. Sandoval converted to Christianity and set his sights on becoming a Christian MC. Soon his cousin Wav Bernardo invited him to join his band, which was decided to be called P.O.T. The name payable on death is metaphorically transferred to the image of Jesus Christ, who atoned for the sins of mankind. P.O.T. has many career accomplishments, including three Grammy Award nominations, writing movie soundtracks, and selling over 12 million records. The band's style has evolved over time, from rap metal to nu metal to alternative with a dash of reggae, making them a household name. In 2014, the band released So Called Sessions, an album containing acoustic versions of their previous hits. Their ninth concept album, The Awakening, received flattering reviews from critics who noted its depth and variety of styles. In 2018, P.O.D. released their 10th album Circles, which Sona described as a new beginning for the band or a beautiful ending. Sandoval has been ranked among the top 100 metal vocalists of all time due to his talent and creative contributions to music. Watch these videos to see more fascinating transformations of your favorite music stars. See you in the next video.